You know, Banana Bondi. Hey, A lot of people see me as a musician. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm known for that. Well known. But I'm so much more. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing, what is music but an idea that is being played through a medium of an instrument? Mm -hmm. So in reality, I'm an ideas man. Yes, you are. Right? You, you have many you, ideas. You, you've been privy to a lot of my ideas. There has been a lot. But I've got some new ones for you that I think are going to make us a lot of money. Okay, let's have okay, it. Okay, so I'm going to run this it. by you and run it by the people. Okay. So don't steal these ideas out there. In fact, if you can help me with these, I would, I would really appreciate it. Because I don't really... Again, part about being an ideas man is not being able to execute the ideas. There's no follow through. That's why I'm not rich. Yeah. I'm just an ideas guy, right? But anyways, let's start. Let's start out with one that I, you. I already told you about this one. Okay. All right. So I'm. You know, YouTube has. YouTube has been very good to me. He's big on the YouTube. YouTube has been good to me. So I'm thinking about doing another channel, right? Okay. DIY is big. Do it yourself, home improvement stuff, whatever. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. It's good to be handy. Now, it's always been good to be Are handy. Are you handy? No. But, well, hold on. I'm not done yet. Okay. Here's the thing. It's it's maybe like a guy with like a cool YouTube personality and like, like a super hot babe. Right? Okay. And it's called Hot and Handy. Okay. All right, this is the name of the channel or the show. It could be a Discovery Channel like show. Like Home Improvement? Yeah, yeah, right? With eh? Pamela Anderson on no, it? No, with you. I'm with not you. handy. Neither am I, but that's kind of the joke of it, right? Because first of all, it's like they, they would assume that you're hot and I'm handy. But then they find out that like neither of us are handy. No one's handy. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? So I did use a carabiner and a ladder the other day I, very successfully. I was inspired by that. Uh, I have taken apart my own garbage disposal before. And see, I might be handy. See, you're handy. I might be handy. By like millennial standards, you're like hella handy. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, those hot, millennials. Hot and handy. What, do you, handy. what do you think? You in? You um, in hot and handy? I, I think it's a great idea. I just don't think we're the, the right people to execute it. These are just ideas. Yeah, these right, are, let's uh, hear the next one. I got you want to go to the next one? Let's, let's get the next one. All right, let's this see. is, all right. Sad national anthems. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How does this make money? Here's a, <laughs> okay, okay. Are you going to rewrite national as, anthems? As a musician, they're going to need composers. I know some high level composers out there that can help. Oh. Well, all right, so I, I was watching the World Cup okay. yesterday. U.S. They fell to the Netherlands, right? And like they're all they're all sad. Yes. And then they put the national anthem on, and it's this Oof. glorious, triumphant tune. Oh, God. But everybody's sad. So they need like, like an alter ego. You need like a, you need anthem. a sad national anthem. So for like death or like sure, you know, it doesn't have to be death. Yeah. Could, losing could, a soccer game. Could, sure. Uh huh. Football. You, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Invasion would be would be yeah. grounds for a sad national anthem. Yes. Like like uh like in Mario when you die, okay. you don't hear the same music as when you win. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So I think nations need a sad national anthem that okay. they can play for a program. Who's gonna pay you for this? The state, the government of whatever. I'm sure they have a fund for these kind of things. Who do we approach about this idea? I, the I prime mean, minister of each country. I think if we just get a couple of them on board. I think you just need to, I think what you need to do is, is write the sad national anthem first and make it really good. And then just like, you know, tease it out there. That'll be a domino Tease effect. it out there. This could be which, your sad national which anthem. Which country should I start with? Uh, what do you think? Mm. Let us know in the well, comments. Well, you can start we'll with, the, with the one you know the best. U.S. Oh, the America, an yeah. American sad national anthem. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is a good idea, right? I think Russia needs one too. Russia, let's not go there. But but yes, they all, every no every country is not just every country needs one. They do. Right? Sad. This is a good idea. This is a good you know, idea. I don't Admit think it's it. the worst idea. I think it's a. I think there's a need out there. I just don't know how to capitalize on that. Well, that's why we're here. Okay. All right. All right. This one, the the name of it. Is great. That having a good name is key, like hot and handy. Hot and the, handy. It started is, it's with the name. All about the name. Yeah, I right? don't know how. I don't, I'm, yeah. The the name I think will actually tell you the idea for this next one. Unholy bagels. Need I say more? I just don't think you know what I feel like. Have you mentioned this to me before? I don't. 
Maybe. I feel like I had a recent conversation <laughs> with somebody I, I about I, bagels. I think, I think I did. Bagels. I think I did. But I didn't have the name yet. Unholy bagels. It's a good kind of like what's the name of that stupid water? Death water. Liquid death. Liquid liquid death. So dumb. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like on that tip, but. A bagel. People aren't eating plain bagels. I do sometimes, but that's. But if you're having a bagel, you're usually using it as a conduit for the topping, right? You could use it as a sandwich much better if there was no hole. Yes, which is what people do all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like, why would you have a surface area for a con for a condiment, and then just put a hole in the middle of it? It's fucking annoying. It's stupid. It's really stupid. Unholy bagel steps and got you. You know, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Right? I think it's really good. No, yeah. th thank you. I think you're good. I think it's good. I feel like I'm doing better and with I you than usual today. Well, because usually your ideas are like heroes <laughs> of the wild. I stand by heroes of the wild. So dumb. I still think heroes of the wild is pretty good. It's not. It's a it's, nature show where I rescue animals from being eaten by predators. But uh, anyway, that's the the elevator pitch. Okay. There's more to Heroes of the Wild. We, this isn't about Heroes of the Wild. This is about Unholy Bagels. I think Unholy Bagels could do really well. Now, I don't know if there's some there's a reason in the baking process for the whole. I think there might be. But we've talked, I've done some research on this. Okay. Even a smaller hole would be fine. Like maybe you put them on a rod and put them in, I don't know how bagels work. I don't know. But a smaller hole would be preferable. Like where it's a hole, but like as the bagel cooks, it like actually seals up the hole. But the idea of the hole is still there. Listen, I'm not a tech guy. I'm an ideas guy. Bagel tech Clearly. is a blind spot for me. But somebody out there is probably watching, you know? I don't think it's your worst idea. Thank, thank you. Yeah. All right. I like that. I, I don't think I, it's something that, that like, I don't see you being passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't see you I'm, as like a, a food guy. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a bagel connoisseur. Are you? I like a good bagel. You didn't believe me. You know, just cause that one trip all I ate was cashews. All but he, that was a different. We went on a trip. All I <laughs> ate was cashews, Oreos, and no water. <laughs> There is, there is no water. This is, all right, here's the next one. Survival here's, here's the next one. Bait detector. But bait spelled lowercase with a capital AI. So you've probably seen all these people posting like AI hot versions of themselves that are pretty realistic. Yeah, but right? why do these people think they're that hot? The AI right? thing is Isn't that way funny? better. And it's I'm like, like, oh my God. They're so proud of it. It's like, and oh I'm my like, God. You don't look like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Right? They're like, oh my God, I can't believe how accurate this is. Look at me. This is so yeah. accurate. It's like, no, it's not. You it don't look, look like that. It doesn't look anything like you. No, 100%, 100% right? It's like you with laser resurfacing. Yeah. And like facial reconstruction and like ripped abs. Yeah, it's like, like, like stop how, it. how do you feed that the ad? You right? don't look like that. They don't. So here's the next thing. I'm thinking. Here's the thing about being an ideas man. Thinking two steps ahead of everything, right? So these pictures just hit the hit the webs, the yes, interwebs, the interwebs, right? And but they, they, you have to admit, they look real. Like they're impressively good. I mean, yes. You're, you're, you're judging it relative to how they look in real life. These look like real humans that could be attractive, right? So it's only a matter of this is happening right now. They're using their AI pictures on dating apps to get people's attention, right? So there's a bunch of people out there, guys and girls. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Jada. Jada likes this idea. Guys and girls that are getting fooled by AI thinking that like, oh, I'll swipe right. Like this, this, and then they show up, it's like, oh. Why would anyone do that? If anything, on dating apps, I'll put a less attractive photo on well, there to different. like you're, weed you're not, out the people. You're like, not, there's uh, nothing, there'd be nothing worse than showing up on a blind date and having the person be disappointed in your uh, appearance. Right? But this the isn't, worst. This isn't how people think though. Listen, you and I don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. Clearly. But, <laughs> but some people out there are just are like they they think like if I can just entrap someone into this date then it's good. My winning and personality. Then, yeah, and then I'll I'll my winning catfishing <laughs> personality will win them. And then I'll turn the tides of disappointment my way. That's how people think apparently. Anyways, not bait detector. Bait detector is a surface level AI detector. This is like, bro, don't know. You don't want to swipe. This is this okay. is this is actually AI. Can it detect? Can it detect if a photo's been doctored in any other way, 
or just if it's AI or it's not AI. Because you can... I like that, like a filter detector. Like, I yeah. see this. Okay. Like, like, not just a filter detector, but like, did she make her nose mm -hmm. smaller? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I just I just got my, my business partner in these ideas just alerted me to extra features for bait detector. Is he also just an idea man? Uh, no, he does real stuff too. Yeah, uh, but like, like with these, like, yeah. okay, so. Yeah, he's a good idea Because you need man. one person that has follow through. That's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're working Sorry. on. Sorry. Jeez. Bait detector also comes with a de-angler, okay? Because you know how people like really like work the angles and the filters for their, for their dating profiles. Yeah this, yeah, this is a thing, BB. So it's a de-angler, so it's, it's an add-on to Tinder or Hinge or whatever, and it can create like a 3D map of the face. So you can de-angle it and be like, what do they really look like? And then, <gasps> then now we're into subscription. Easy, easy money. I feel like I need to like, I didn't know you could do all this, this stuff. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot you can do out there. But is this a real thing? Like, are people going to be posting like AI oh, photos yes, on dating 100%. apps? Like, do you think that's really happening? That's I, I really get, happening. I get, yes, it's happening. Oh my it's god! Happening right now, yeah. Really? I would bet a thousand dollars right now that it's happening. Mm -hmm. I need to yeah. get on a dating app just so I can maybe that'll be our research next video. And oh, let's uh -huh. do it. You can help me make a dating profile. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. What do, what do I got next? All I'm right. not actually going to date anyone, though. Sure. Just, that's just that, for, that's what girls for, do on dating apps. It's just for the, entertainment the, the, Yes, purposes. 100%. Uh -huh. It's just another app to scroll. It's just, just, yeah, just what's exactly yeah. what we need. Pull up right and we'll see if there's any of those AI... <laughs> oh my god. My the celebrity dating app that I got on? Did I tell you about that? Yes, you did. We've talked about the Raya thing, remember? Yeah. And you can't screenshot and you tried to Oh screen I tried I tried screen and then I, I got like, in trouble. Oh. Here the here the here are the people in Malibu right now. Who? Olivia. Who's that lady? See they do oh, real estate. Her. I know her. <laughs> I know her. That's Oh damn. Yes, I know her well. Thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, alright, alright. Next next idea. All right. Uh, I thought you, she had a boyfriend. She's well. She, listen. Hey. You only have a boyfriend until you don't. <laughs> All right. Next idea. Okay. You know how? Again, I I love old people. I just wanted like my like uh, my my grandparents. Some of the best conversations I've ever had. Yeah. Came from the wisdom of my grandparents. They've seen a lot. But sometimes I get in this mood, this chatty mood, and it's like I just wish there was a chat bot here. <laughs> Yes. To take my place. Yeah. Right? So this is the next idea. They don't need any feedback. Right. They, they just, just need a nod. They need an, an engagement, a, a base layer of engagement. Totally. This doesn't even need to be AI. This could just be like a robot. Uh, yeah. You know, that just like takes the place of a human. Just like just a procedural. <laughs> procedural machine. It's like one of those that... machines that throws the balls for dogs automatically. <laughs> it's sure. like that, uh, but for yeah. like your grandparents and Exactly. And you can like, you can program it to a political orientation <laughs> totally. if you need to, yes. right? So then they have like certain canned responses. Yeah. Still thinking of a name for this one, mm. but essentially it's just chatbot. Grandpa. You guys are gonna. Grandpa. You guys... <laughs> Grandpa. Or Grandma. Okay. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> um, you guys, these ideas require a lot of technology. That's why. The, that's why, I, the AI that's AI why world. you give me a hard time about like not doing the follow through. It's hard to do. Well, why don't you come up I'm with not... something a little more tangible? All right, I got. These I got, ideas right. are way out of your league. Unholy bagels. Okay. I feel like that's... Okay. What experience Listen, do you have the with only bagels? One, the only one I have you ever with... made a bagel. <laughs> You've never made a bagel. Cause just because you ate a bagel doesn't mean that you can execute this. It. You I have a it. no restaurant <laughs> experience, no cooking experience. I was a server. I was a deck chef for a summer. Do you know how hard it is to make money with a restaurant? It's a grind. It's not selling alcohol. That's where all the money's at. I thought. <laughs> you got to have liquor sales at Whole Unholy Bagel. Is it, can I do it with it's, AI? It's, <laughs> like, Maybe that's it. it's bagels it's and a vodka. A bar. A, oh, a bar? All right. Bagels bar. Mm -hmm. So it's a bar, and the, the bar food is an unholy bagel. There you go. Well, that's like the toast office. It's like... That was my other restaurant idea. I never told you about the toast office? No, this sounds this, like this a Hallmark predates, movie. Well, no, so it's like the post office, but it's, we sell toast, yeah, like high-end toast. I got it. <laughs> and you know, what you, you know what you call the, uh, the manager? 
Oh, what? Toastmaster General. Oh my god. And, and every place has it. Oh I never told god. you about the toast office. That that's something I feel like I would have told you. Yeah. But somehow I I didn't. I f it sounds familiar, yet I know you have not mentioned. Actually, that. no. Wait, no. The name of the place was Toast with the Most. The toast office was where the manager would the work. The kitchen. Would work. The to <laughs> toast with the toast off. Because good toast you is like... You can't base businesses <laughs> on just having a catchy name. <laughs> you thought of one I word. I submit to you, you liquid death. You thought of death. one word liquid with toast. Death. The to right. This is true. The, yeah. Uh -huh. I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. This is true. Yeah. Liquid death has nothing else. Yeah. It's a oh, can of water. It's like the Ed Hardy t-shirt design on a can of water. And here I am with all these is influx of ideas. All right, this is an app. There's no AI needed for this, but it is an app. Okay. It's called Dad Finder. D-A-D-F-I-N-D-R. Like, like daddy or dad? No. no. Dad? You're just finding a dad? Like a dad. Like, all right, so again. This sounds sad. As, as a millennial, I don't have life skills. I'm not hot and handy. Okay. I like, if something small break. Like you said, you took apart like your dishwasher and fixed it, right? Did garbage disposal. Gar like, I I wouldn't even know where to start. I guess I could YouTube it. I watched YouTube. But it's like, it's like, there's things that like, I don't have the confidence in, but like, I'm not gonna call a contractor and spend like a thousand dollars. Right. Like this is where you'd like, you'd call your dad. Right? But not everybody has a dad around. There's a YouTube channel like that already. Okay, sure, but this isn't, I've heard of this. While pitching this app somewhere else, someone told me about this, this YouTube channel. Yeah. So I'm going to steal his idea, turn it into an app, Dad Finder. There's a lot of dads out there, a lot of lonely, empty nest dads. It's like, man, I just, I'd like to just, you know, grill for some younger people. So when you go on the app and you ask, like, how do I, like, change a flat tire or something like that? Like, no, you, I think you more, it's more like a bat So like, I need the help of a dad. And then you would put so in, just some you put in, in your, your location. Yeah, well, it'd be a, a vetted dad. It's not just some dude. It's I like, feel like the whole dad element adds this weird sexual undertone that's, that that's, I'm not that's liking. You. That's, this no, is a it's you not thing. me. It's like a... You it's, went right to daddy finder. It's it dad seems... finder. It's <laughs> dad finder. It's a wholesome thing. It's like maybe you just want to have a catch. You know, you're like, you know, I'm just... But it's, it's just... It, I think it lends itself to some problems. Like, you know... Am I crazy? Do you see the problem with this? Dad finder? Yeah, you have to do some serious background checks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, how do you background check? How do you no, vet all of these people? I, 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 did, did Steve Jobs ever be like, oh, how are we going to put all of the music on your little iPod? No, he just did it. So he came up with an idea, and then it made it happen. This is what I'm talking about. Dad finder is a great idea. There's a way to do it. I don't know how to do it, but it's like you just log on. You'd be like, I want to have a catch with a, a guy at the age of what my dad would be right now. And then there's somewhere in that city, a dad's like, I'd like to play catch with someone the age of my son. Boom. We step in for a small fee, and then they're just having a catch, and beautiful things happen. And you think you could go the reverse way. It's like the son... Like a yeah. Sunfire. Right. Well, that well that that brings me to my next idea in the same parent I of that. Just feel this like is, this is problematic. This a is called. This, no, no. This is called. <laughs> no, this this, is, this, someone's this, gonna misinterpret no, what this. No, app because is about. no, no. I'm sorry. It's not Sunfire. This it's, one, not, it's poorly named. You no, can't name this it is. That's not the name. The name of this one is my son. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, and I do this a lot actually. I have these two, shout out to Eileen Zoll and Eileen O'Connell, my proxy moms. They live in this high rise building and sometimes I, I'm close to them. They just need stuff that they're stuck. They, they come, I just come like reset their Am I your Malibu louder. mom? <laughs> I didn't think so until we went on that trip together and I was at the kids table after like 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, I guess this is, <laughs> this is where I'm at. It's called My Son. That's not I go, true. Anyways, it's called My Son. I, I just go, I have, they bake me stuff and I help them with their phone oh. and, and whatever. See, that's what you did today when you came over. So, I gave yeah, you so, water and you helped me with my ex microphone. Ex ex exact, yes. So you would be eligible for My Son, you know? All right. This not see now now that it's personal that now it makes sense.
right? Right. I still think that the the father son thing <laughs> lends itself to some seedy sort of element that I'm just concerned. Listen, people are gonna find a way to abuse whatever system we put in place. Okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm I mean, as long as the sons are adults. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, go yeah. rent a 12 year old or something. I need a 12 year old stat. No, 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 no. No. I really need to help someone with their algebra. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, okay. So I, those, are, those are my ideas. Is that it? Really? That's, That's all it for now. Well, I, th I don't want to make this like, you know, hours long. There's, here's, here's, there's a lot of actually really good ideas I'll tell you off camera. Okay. Because they're like a little too good. Okay, like, that's the ones wanna, I want to hear. All right, See, well. these, are the, these are the heroes of the wild idea. You know what else is a great, actually the best idea of all? Signing up for banana bunny yoga. Oh, yeah. That's what you get. That's a pretty good there idea. There you go. Just best website on earth. <laughs> just be, just <laughs> because best. Dad Finder isn't up yet. Eh? You guys. <laughs> Dad Finder is going to come along and blow my website away. Yeah, uh-huh. No one's going to want to do yoga anymore. They're just mm -hmm. going to go out and find dads. Yeah, that's right. Because we're, <laughs> we're all looking for dads. AI dads. Dad, grandpa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this has been great bouncing these ideas off you. Do you, right, do you have a favorite? Any, anytime. Do you have a favorite out of these so far? Do I have a favorite? Mm -hmm. Um, weirdly, the unholy bagel. Because yeah, right. Yeah. Why, that's not weird. Unholy, 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 unholy bagel needs. Unholy out. bagel, I think, is okay. All right, cool. So, if any bagel bagelers out there, hit us up. We're we're open, we're open for business. Okay, sounds good.